Blessings, my brothers and sisters, your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to reach out and give you a word. And I hope this word be able to build you up in the spirit. I hope this word be able to destroy uh, the arsenals of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ right now. We just come in agreement. And I just want to share a moment with you. You know, I always learn that the, the battle is in the mind. The battlefield is in the mind. Amen. So I just want to share a word with you that the battlefield is in the mind. Understand that you can't do something about you finding the devil out there in the physical. You find it out there. The devil out there is up here. If you can't beat the devil here, the devil has, if the devil has the opportunity to put stronghold and bondages in your thinking and your mindset and your in your thoughts and you know so it's it will, it will be difficult to see what god wants to do it will, it will be difficult to understand the things of the spirit understand the word of god understand how you can release the arsenals of heaven because if you don't start it here you can't start it out there so i just want to share a moment with you in this opportunity to build you up in the faith to build you up in your mind and man, the power, the, the Bible says that we have the mind of Christ. And man, uh, we, need, we need to understand that we need to build up our spirit. We need to build up our inner man. But we also need to build up our spiritual mind in Jesus' name. Amen. And I just want to share this moment with you. That's why spiritual warfare is so essence, so important in the body of Christ today. Jesus did all the three years of his ministry. Jesus did spiritual warfare whether he rebuked the atmosphere he rebuked the winds the wave he cast out demon he cast out demons of infirmity he, he raised up a, a dead man out of a grave which is a spirit of death lazarus he raised him up we know what jesus did when he was out here casting out devils complete and fully with no shame at all Amen. So, so, so when the when the church at large is saying that they don't cast out devil, they don't do this. I mean, Mark sixteen said, by these signs they should they should follow. Amen. Casting out demons. Amen. So, so these are the things of the kingdom. Amen. The the arsenals of the kingdom, the spiritual warfare fight of the kingdom, the victory of the kingdom. To establish a kingdom on the earth, you have to have a victory. To establish a kingdom on earth, you have to exercise the authority God given you. That's why the sons of Sceva couldn't do anything because even the sons of Sceva, uh, even though they were doing a little small thing here and there like many churches are today they're doing small thing but when it came to the magnitude of a scale of spiritual warfare in the spirit realm the real demons showed up and said to the sons of Sceva in the book of Acts they said Paul we know Jesus we know Paul we know what is the demons were saying to, to them the demon was saying to them we know the full authority of the kingdom of heaven. We know the full authority that it carries. We know the weight behind it. We know the weight that the weight of the kingdom of heaven behind it. And we know that Jesus has it. We know Paul has it, but you don't have it. And, the, and, the, and, and you know, and the Bible says the deeper we go into our walk with the Lord, the deeper we go into our journey, the, the time, even the deeper the times that we're in today, uh, spiritual warfare is, is what the devil understands that that's your only deals with be prayer. And I mean, prayer. And spiritual warfare is the only thing that devil knows that he has to submit to. He has to, he will flee. He understands. It's not just, you know, resist the devil. The Bible says, it's a, well, resist the devil. It's not telling the devil, well, go away, go away, leave me alone. You know, go away. Don't bother me. You know, you, don't you remember I was, I'm a Christian. Don't you remember I read scriptures a couple of days ago? That's not resisting the enemy. Resisting the enemy is fighting back, holding your ground. Understanding that you have the authority to push back. Resisting is pushing back. Resisting is saying, Pushing back, getting your authority, getting, don't let the devil come into your spiritual space, to your spiritual uh, atmosphere. Pushing back the enemy. That's what that means. And we don't have that because we're not doing that. And the reason we're not doing that because we haven't been taught to do it. Amen. So I, I thank God that, you know, I, I have the opportunity to, to really in, in, uh, share with my brothers and sisters uh, like the spiritual warfare courses that, I, that I, I've done. I, I actually put the link up there. If you haven't really had the opportunity to, to really uh, engage into spiritual warfare, or maybe your church is not teaching it. Amen. Your church is not teaching the spiritual warfare. So sign up for the e-course and put it in your library, man. Put it into put it into your spirit. I mean, the Bible is the number one weapon. But you need something in hand number two. Yeah, I got the in my hand number one is the Bible. The word of God is in one hand, but on hand number two is my spiritual warfare weapon, what I know what to fight with. Because I, mean, I got the Bible here. I mean, the Bible is my number one weapon, but my second weapon is the spiritual warfare arsenal that God has taught me, trained me, teach me, equip me. Even David said, Lord, teach my hands to war. Teach my hands to war. David said that. Amen. I mean, David was saying, teach me spiritual warfare. Amen. Because he wanted to fight the king, the things that were trying to destroy him. So I, I want to just share this moment with you and build you up to understand that we need to be equipped, equipped, equipped. That means equipped, trained, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge of spiritual warfare, understanding 
the spiritual warfare. Practicing, receiving, and releasing spiritual warfare into the atmosphere, into the devil's camp, against your family, against yourself, against your purpose, your destiny, who you are, your identity. How many Christians walk around with a fake identity? You know, the devil has robbed our identity in Christ, and we walk around with a fake identity. We walk around with a make-believe identity. We walk, it's like, it's like when David walked into the devil's camp, he had the biggest devil, the biggest devil to fight right there. And what did Saul did? Saul put, put on his armor, put it on David. And David said, that's not my identity. Why are you putting on something that doesn't fit me? And we go around walking with other people's identity or whatever the devil put on you. We running around with that all over the enemy's camp. And you ain't bringing nothing down. You ain't fighting. You ain't breaking nothing. You ain't destroying nothing. You're not dismantling nothing. You're not uprooting nothing. And you sure ain't getting the victory because you put on something that didn't fit you because someone else had it. And God is saying, I have something for you. I want to train you. I want to equip you. I, I, I want to use you in a way that you... I, I, I design you to use you. Amen. So I, I'm saying the e-course, the link is up there. Sign up for the e-course. It's not closed. In a circle, it's closed. That's my community. Those, th that's my family. That's my neighborhood. The inner circle. I'm talking to you about eight, 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 16 warfare training uh, of eight weeks, one uh, boot camp and special op, eight weeks with a workbook. I'm talking about something that's going to go into your spirit. It's not something that's lightly or something that's sugar. I'm talking about, I'm not going to know sugar stuff. I'm talking about real stuff, stuff that the enemy knows. Enemy understands that once you learn how to fight the good fight, he could not have dominion over you. He can't have no strongholds over you. He, he, the enemy might, might come and he might, he might come and harass you, but he won't get the victory over you. No bondage over you. You might have a struggle, but you won't have bondage. You won't have bond you might have a struggle, but you won't have a stronghold. Because God will teach you how to destroy it completely and fully so you can have the complete victory. So man, so I just want to share that moment with you. I love you guys and I hope you receive the word from the Lord. Amen. God bless you and enjoy your day. Be mindful of Jesus Christ. He's our Lord, He's our Savior, He's our Redeemer, He's our all in all, He's our everything. It's not what the world's saying today in the news or whatever. I haven't watched the news in 2020. I don't care what they're saying. I know my Bible says Jesus. Jesus is king, and Jesus is king, and Jesus won the fight, and then we know we are living in the victory side. So I don't care what they're saying, what they're trying to do. They're just doing what God allowed them to do, and to God come down, and God's going to open a can of whipping on these people that they're going to be crying for their mama. That, that, that I know. Amen? So I, I just rejoice with you, and I encourage you. And I pray for you, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray for my brothers and sisters to get the full, complete victory, to be more than conquerors, Father God, in Christ Jesus. It's not just to win the fight, to conquer the fight, in Jesus' name. So I release that upon my brothers and sisters today so they can conquer, conquer, conquer those giants. They can conquer those demonic uh, demons that are coming after them. Father. Conquer those demons. Conquer the devil's camp. Conquer against spiritual warfare. Conquer con of the enemy. Conquer the witchcraft. Conquer witchcraft altars. Have the victory complete and fully upon your life today. In Jesus' name, amen.